Ladies and gentlemen, final resolution continues with a no disqualification TNA Women's Knockout Championship match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first the challenger residing in Japan. She stands six feet one inches tall and weighs 272 and three eight pounds. She is awesome. Boom! You ever seen anything like it? And when I say it, I'm talking both about Awesome Kong and the reaction from the crowd here in Orlando, Florida towards both Awesome Kong the Challenger and Gail King the Champion. Yes, we'll get Don's answer after the introduction of Gail. And her opponent from Tampa, Florida, she is the defending TNA Women's Knockout Champion, Gail King! Mike, you were talking about Kong as we see the champion come out. She's like that accident on the side of the road. You have to slow down and stop and see. You cannot take your eyes off of it. It doesn't matter. I mean, when you just see her come out, and anybody I talk to, Whoa. look at her, come right over and not even allow Gail Kim to get in. And Gail Kim fights right back and grabs the ankle of Awesome Kong, and she takes the other foot and kicks it to the rail. And finally, referee Slick Johnson says, this is a no disqualification match. What the hell am I gonna try and do here? Let's just ring the bell. Let's just turn him loose. Yes, knockout title on the line and awesome pop. Oh, wow, vicious. Chop to the chest and nobody has more heart than Gail Kim and it's on exhibit right here. Oh, oh God, what wow. a clothesline. Right on the concrete, right on the concrete. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, hey, what the hell? Like started throwing all of our stuff off of the desk. I gotta tell you, we that's about as scared as I've ever been just looking in the face of oh. Awesome Kong. No, whoa, whoa, not this awesome bomb. Oh. She was gonna try and use the awesome bomb and put Gail Kim on our broadcast table. And did you see the kick by Gail Kim? Get that comeback started, girl. How did Gail Kim get that kick on top of her head? That's that agility, that martial arts background that Gail Kim has, and then she sends her right back into the ring. And we had nowhere to go. We're connected here to these headsets. And she just, that was scary, man. Yes. Just looking up and seeing Arthur Korn that close to you. And I can't even describe how big she is up close and in person. And I remember last Thursday, Mike, and I was trying to describe to you how Gail Kim could win in a match like this. And uh, talking about her heart and everything that she has. And you, you threw two words at me that kind of put the statement into effect, and that's no disqualification. And when you think about no DQ and awesome Kong, how on earth is Gail Kim going to be able to defeat her tonight and don't, retain yeah, that championship? Just don't have an answer for you in the least. And now I don't think Awesome Kong got that memo, Don, that we're hired, hardwired in here at the broadcast table. She takes Gail Kim by the hair and just tosses her across the six-sided ring, follows up the advantage, and keep in mind, folks, that's near 300 oh. pounds behind that boot that's across the windpipe in the throat of Gail Kim. And look at where Gail's positioned. She's got her back on the rope, so she's nowhere she can go. She can't maneuver. And that big boot of Awesome Kong applying that pressure. And Oh, just manhandles her right there and throws her into the turnbuckle and the boot again. And again, like you said, referee Slick Johnson, there's not much he can do here. So little is really known about the background of Awesome Kong. We know that she was trained over in Japan. And did you hear the rumor earlier today, Don, that an associate of Awesome Kong is in attendance here in Orlando tonight at Final Resolution? I wonder where he's from, and I wonder what that's about. No, it, well, it, it's, but it's intriguing because I want to know more. You can't help it. You want to know where she's from. Exactly. What, what her past is, you know, what her, her, you know, her innermost thoughts are for that matter because if you look at her, you just see this scary beast. And, but look at Gail Kim shooting elbow after elbow. You gotta give her credit. She didn't shy down from the no disqualification rule. She wants to prove to everybody why she's such a great champion. Gail Kim connects with the boot from that middle rope. Gonna try and mount an offensive. Oh, but then the spinning what back fist caught her completely unaware, and Gail's in trouble here. What a shot she's that was! In the ropes. She's caught right there in the ropes, and look at this. Awesome Kong's not letting up. You can see Rutherford Slick Johnson trying to get her loose. Thank goodness.
this, he did. Or Kong may have killed her right there. Well, that spinning back fist is one of the moves that she learned while she trained over in the dojo in Japan as we see Gail Kim holding onto her knee. Oh, she's hurt bad, Mike. Uh, and, and the thing about it is, when you realize that anything and everything can come into play, I hope Gail Kim can figure out a way to use that speed and stay out of harm's way, but she just got her face smashed into the steel steps. Gail Kim in serious trouble here. The TNA Knockout Championship on the line in this no disqualification match, and here comes another attempt at a comeback. Nice. A series of four arm shots. Got three or four of them in, but then Awesome Kong takes that hand and just slaps her and knocks her down. It's a, it also Kong just shrugs those blows off. I mean, you're seeing Gail put that elbow right into the face. One, two, three in a row, and Awesome Kong, it's like a fly to her. I mean, she really has a uh -oh. threshold. Oh, no. Uh -oh. oh, no. Uh oh, no. Oh, no. Go! Go! Oh my God, how do you stop her? Oh my God. She just took Gail Kim with ease, lifted her up by the legs. And the impact when Gail Kim's shoulder dog went into that steel guardrail. You can't see the steel because that's just a paper poster in the way. Oh, now tosses her over the safety rail and into the crowd here at Final Resolution. Oh, okay. awesome Kong wanting to humiliate her and just destroy her right in there. Crowd of people. Gail Kim now just trying to find some high ground somewhere where she can use her leverage, and that's what she's doing. Kick after kick to the face. And look at Gail Kim is just amazing. She just won't quit, but I'll grab her by the back of the hair and oh, right into the steps into the crowd. Just tossed her into the steps, and for the third time, we see Gail Kim try to feed off the crowd and get fired up and get that comeback rolling. And for the third time, Kong stops her dead in her tracks. Takes her into that first row up in the bleachers area. Oh no. Oh and no. She's on those steps. She's got nowhere to go. It's all the way. And look at this. Kong is on the neck. On the steps. Oh, she fights it off. Got that big boot directly across the throat of Gail Kim. Referee Slick Johnson, his hands are tied. It's no disqualification. Good luck, Slick, trying to control these two. And here comes Gail again. And Gail Kim, she just, she knows she's got to escape. She just grabs the buddy. Just started smacking her in the head with it. Anything she can find, she's got to use right now. Well, you're right. It's no DQ, Gail Kim. Use whatever is at your disposal because you're going to need it. I can't blame her. Anything oh, not God. nailed down, use and then. Oh my God, she, she had to take her and toss her down six or seven flights of steps. And it's and look how deliberate Awesome Kong is. She, she goes at that pace so that you feel her coming. You know what I mean? You can basically feel the ground shake. She comes. Oh! When you have a 160-pound weight advantage over your opponent, Don, you can often dictate the pace. That's what we've seen as Gail Kim again tries to get it rolling and dumps her over the rail, back first onto the floor and entrance ramp. That's, That's gotta hurt. That shows you the strength of Gail Kim, like you said, 110 pounds of power, and she comes right off and just uses those fists together and hammers down on the shoulder. Now using that arm and pulling it behind her. That's a good move. Got it It'll make that arm numb. Yeah, got it in hammerlock position here at this point. As Kong goes oh. shoulder first into the steel post. Gail Kim now has got the game plan using whatever she can and uses that steel ring post. And she just slams her in it, but look at Awesome Kong. She shakes it off so easily. It's unbelievable the pressure of the pain she must have. Repeatedly taking the champ, Gail Kim, driving her face first into the apron. And now, those big overhand clubbing lights to the chest. She's not coming over here, is she? Oh, I don't well, she's know. going to get a steel chair. And what do you do? You can see the referee. I think he's trying to keep, no. he's trying to keep Gail on. Kim from getting killed. Oh, but Gail Kim, you kick the chair back in the car. She got out of the way and kicked the chair back in the car. Anything and everything goes in this no disqualification TNA Women's Knockout Championship matchup. Gail back up to her feet. Kong out here at the safety rail, and Gail is headed up to the top row. Look at her! Oh my God, she fired, but look at this! Kong caught her like it was a playing pitch and catch with a softball, and then throws her into the ring. That, that is power. That top rope cross body block to no avail. 
caught in midair, and then jammed back first against the ring. Kong in, stalking her prey. Oh, you can almost sense it here, can't you? Uh, mentally, what is going to be going through Gail Kim's mind? She came off the top rope, got an unbelievable extension, and Austin Kong just handled her like it was nothing. That's got to get you mentally, Mike. That really does, but Gail Kim doesn't show it. She just keeps throwing those elbows as hard as she can. Now look at this point where there is Austin Kong. There oh. it is, spinning back fist again. She gets that extra torque on it by, by going 360 degrees and just yeah. caught. 360 degrees and near 300 pounds behind that move. Here comes the awesome bomb on the way. Here it goes. Come oh, around. Look, at him. look at that. She's so no. quick. Oh, and it gets out of the way. She would have got a face smash. Woo. Sit down, splash. Safe to say, nobody home. Gail again. Shots to the back. Challenger up to her feet. Champion reigning in those rights, but doesn't look like they're having a hell of a lot of effect. Gail for the ride. Sent into the turnbuckles. Moved out of the way. Nice. Kong look. crashes into the corner. Caught her with a kick. Here comes Gail to the top again. She is throwing those kicks every chance she can at the head, and it's a good move. Because eventually she'll rattle her. But look at this. Oh, man. Gail. Oh, she just power bums her in the face. Face first to the canvas. Cover One, two. two. Oh, my God. A part of you almost wanted to keep the shoulder down, but she doesn't want to quit. Wow. You're right. No, there is no quit. We've talked about the heart that Gail Kim brings to TNA. How proud she is to be champion. You can see that awesome Pong not happy at the cadence of the count from referee Slick Johnson. Oh, he says, was... I'm the, I'm the ref. What? Oh, boot for Slick. Look out. Now she goes after him. She didn't like the count. She takes him up. Oh, my God. She power bombs him. Awesome bomb for referee Slick Johnson because she wasn't happy with the fact that he stopped the count at two. Here she comes again. What are we going to do without a referee in oh, here? I don't know, but she's coming right over. Get her out of here. And now I get nervous every time she gets near this table. Now she's got a chair in hand. You get nervous. She stepped on my foot. Pushed me out of the way. Here she comes. She's got that steel chair sliding it back in. Oh no, she's got one wave instead of using it. Oh ah. my god! Instead of using it on Gail Kim, she decides to give the referee a shot so Gail Kim grabs the chair from her. Oh, what a shot! Oh, oh. what a shot to the head! Oh, what another shot! And finally, she topples the giant. And it's Gail Kim now exploiting the no disqualification stipulation of this women's knockout championship match. Gail headed to the top. Paul laid out. Flash, flash off the top. Count run. One. Oh, Double she had, rep. but you can see that the referee slick is down. She's Gail calling for another rep. referee. Here we go. Here comes Slide in, Rudy. Count. One, two, shot. Oh, she got that shoulder up. But she would have had her. Frustration so evident on the face of the champ, Gail Kim. Oh, just this close to getting the win. Kong back up to her feet. Gail with the right hands. Then the knee to the midsection. Gail Kim just doesn't want to lose this title. I mean, and look at this though. Oh, shit. A choke slam. Choke slam through there. One, two, go. No. You've got to be kidding. She got the shoulder up the fencer. Amazing. Absolutely no give up in the champ, Gail Kim. And yes, this capacity crowd, they have been rocking. They've been on their feet from the opening bell. And now that three, Rudy Charles just got it. She's got an awesome bomb, Rudy Charles. She's got him out. Oh, look at this. Gail uses it to her advantage. No, Gail Kim started. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still TNA Women's Knockout Champion, Gail Kim. Wow. That was innovative. She saw that she had referee Rudy Charles up. She used the weight of Rudy Charles to her advantage and able to get the quick roll up, and she has beaten Awesome Kong. That's the way you take advantage of a situation. The focus of Awesome Kong momentarily distracted, trying to Awesome Bomb a second official. Rudy Charles and Gail was there to get her in that roll up, and here we go again. 
Well, you can see Awesome Kong is mad and she wants to do whatever she can to inflict more damage. But Gail Kim not backing down. She can leave the ring right now. The victor, but she wants to stay there and trade blows with Awesome Kong. Security in to separate. Here come TNA knockouts. Angelina Love and Velvet Sky as well out to try and assist in keeping these two separated. Well, they've got to. I mean, Gail Kim won. She retained her title. She needs to get out of there before more damage is done. And you can see how hesitant security is. Oh. We've got to review if we can keep them apart. What went down, Don, in this knockout championship match? Take us through the replay. Well, you can see how it started. Awesome Kong went right after, using the boot, applying it, using that strength. She knocked her right on the concrete. What a vicious blow right there, Mike. Into the rail, but this, I think, was when Gail Kim started turning it around. It really was. That was the turning point in the match, when she crashed into the wall. Gail goes high risk, but caught in mid-move by Awesome Kong. Missed that sit-out splash. Planted her face first, did the challenger. There goes referee Slick Johnson on the receiving end of that first awesome bomb. And then the steel chair came into play. And that's what you gotta do, it's no DQ. Gail Kim went right after her, and then she thought she had her there. But you had to get the other referee out, took too long, and here I thought it was over. But unbelievably, at the last split second, Gail Kim got the shoulder up, and look how she used the weight of Ruby Charles. And there, she surprised Kong and got the win. Referee Rudy Charles avoids that awesome bomb, counts three, and yes, Gail Kim retains the TNA Women's Knockout Championship, but that look on the face of awesome Kong tells me, Don, that she not is over. not satisfied, and no, not over by a long shot. Without a doubt, an impressive win for the knockout title holder, Gail Kim. But you know what? In defeat, Awesome Kong was awesome.